दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम चैप्टर सेवन स्पीड बुक पेज नंबर वन फिफ्टी सिक्स दिस इज अ सब टॉपिक एवरेज स्पीड क्वेश्चन वन अ बस ट्रेवल्ड एट ए स्पीड ऑफ एट्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर फॉर वन आवर इफ इट दैन ट्रेवल्ड एट ए स्पीड ऑफ नाइन्टी किलोमीटर पर आवर फॉर द नेक्स्ट टू आवर्स फाइंड द एवरेज स्पीड ऑफ द बस फॉर द होल जर्नी एक्सप्रेस यूर आंसर इन किलोमीटर पर आवर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन देर आर टू स्पीड गिविन टू टाइम्स आर गिविन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एवरेज स्पीड बट द आंसर विल बी इन होल नंबर दैट इज इन किलोमीटर पर आवर सो फर्स्ट वी राइट डाउन डेटा हियर फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन वी टेक डेटा स्पीड वन इज गिविन दैट इज एटी किलोमीटर पर आवर एंड टाइम वन इज ऑल्सो गिविन दैट इज वन आवर Speed two is given that is ninety kilometer per hour and time two is given that is next two hours or we can say two hours. We have to find out average speed. So you must remember formula for average speed and what we need for that. So for solution we are going to solve it first. We need distance because to find out average speed we must require total distance so first we calculate distance of first journey then we calculate distance of second journey so distance 1 will be equal to speed 1 multiplied by time 1 we put values so distance uh, speed 1 is 80 and time 1 is 1 so 80 multiplied by 1 will be 80 km so we have found first distance okay like that we calculate second distance for which distance 2 is equal to speed 2 multiply by time 2 so speed 2 is 90 km and time 2 is 2 hours when we multiply these two numbers 90 multiply by 2 it will become 180 km through this method we have found two distances now now we calculate average speed because we have every number every required thing here so we first write formula for average speed formula of average speed is total distance divided by total time total distance is we have two distances that is 80 km and 1 uh, 80 km and 180 km we write here 80 plus 180 km and total time is 1 hour plus 2 hour so now we calculate here That eighty plus one eighty, it will become two sixty kilometer, and one plus two, it will become three hours. We have total distance and total time. Now we divide two sixty by three by our conventional method, that is two sixty divided by three. You know that when we divide numbers, the below denominator will go outside of the bracket, and the numerator will go inside. Now here we read table of three. We cannot read table of three up to two, so we <coughs> read it. on this two number that that is 26 so we read table of 3 up to 26 that is 3 8 is the 24 now we subtract 24 from 26 the answer will be 2 now we put zero here below it will become 20 we read table of 3 up to 20 that is 6 times 3 6 is the 18 we subtract 18 from 20 the answer will be 2 now we cannot uh, read table of 3 up to 2 so we put decimal here and add zero here it will become 20 again so we read table of 3 6 times 6 3 is the 18 again it will become 2 so we let it here we will not continue because it will continue as 666 so the answer of calculation will be 86.6 but in question it is required that express your answer in kilometer per hour so we have to convert this into a uh, round off this to whole numbers so uh, please tell me that this decimal number is nearest to 86 or 87 because this point uh, decimal digit is uh, above 5 so this is near to 87 so we convert it into 87 km per hour and we write statement as the average speed of the bus for the whole journey is 87 km per hour hope you understand this if you have uh, if you are not understand this please repeat uh, again watch this and understand this thank you very much allah hafiz